This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Hey guys, welcome back to Halo Cannon. Today we are continuing the Let's Lore series with Shield World, the 10th mission of the game. Today I am very happy to say I am joined by Masters1337 or Masters Lead, I don't know which way you like it pronounced. But if you don't know that name right off the bat, you will definitely know him by his work. He is one of the lead, he is the lead behind uh, the SPV3 mod for Halo uh, Combat Evolved on PC. So say hi. Hey everyone. I'm excited to play this mission. This right. is uh, a difficult one. I'm a big Halo Wars fan. So, I also love these cinematics. Oh my god, the cinematics are absolutely beautiful. It's just too bad uh, you don't see more of this Arbiter in the whole series. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of really cool stuff in this game, like... Like, this flood-infected planet with the pretty core. Oh, yeah. That I, I wish saying, there was listen. more that they had gone into. Oh, yeah. They, they, this whole thing needs to be explored sometime. I'm kind of hoping that they might be able to do that with uh, whatever... Because I'm almost certain there's going to be a follow-up to Halo Into the Fire... Or Halo Smoke and Shadow, sorry. I, with, with any luck, they, Kelly Gay could go into some of the secrets and whatnot of the S.H.I.E.L.D. world. Yeah, I was kind of hoping Halo Wars 2 would be in the same time period, but yeah, they had it kind of... I was hoping I that it would be like 2537, right at the edge of uh, Serena's... Or I guess it would be 2536, since 37 was actually when she turned 7, but, you know, regardless, like, end of her life kind of story, was I was hoping. Yeah. Well, we still don't know if she's going to be dead in Halo Wars 2, do we? Uh, spoiler alert, yeah, we do, actually. <laughs> she, uh, in, uh, what is it, um... The comic Tales from Slipspace, the Halo, the story from there, which again is escaping me for some goddamn reason. Oh, I'm a, I know what you're talking about, where they have uh, the Spartan fighting all the Flood with the thruster pack that he had this entire game that we never knew about. Yeah, um, Jerome. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think you actually see her die at the end, though, right? They just kind of leave it at the no. end. Well, technically, no, you don't technically see her die, but she does say she's initiating final dispensation. She's made all these pre-recorded messages for various scenarios based on, you know, whatever. Um, and it ends with her message kind of coming out saying, you know, Captain, something has happened, yada, yada. Yeah, so. I mean, I don't know. There's always the possibility sh that something, you know, could change, but at the moment, it's looking pretty definitive. Well, so, until the game comes out, we won't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, that's very true. The thing is that her, you know, end of life and rampancy could tie in very well with what they did with Halo 5. It Yeah, it potentially could. It's just like, I, I would question how exactly she survives 28 years. Now, there have definitely been, there's some decent theories out there to explain that, potentially. But they're kind of. Uh, well, I mean, she, they can technically survive. They just are inoperable, right? They're like in a constant state of like well, pain a, and uselessness, like almost like catatonic. There's a point. Well, to a point that like it's it's hard to say since we've never actually seen like how um, seen an AI survive that long, with the exception of. To, technically, with the exception of Kalmia from the Fall of Reach, she's around in 2537 and then again in 2552, but that's a whole other you know, bag. <laughs> so, there's a... Yeah. But, um, what was I going to say? Uh, at least the implication is that, you know, there is a point, there's only so long they can survive once they've entered rampancy. Yeah. Um, trying to think of the good way to describe the... I don't know. I've, I guess I've always I've always compared it to like AI Alzheimer's. You know, there's only so much with an Alzheimer's patient. There's only so much of the brain that can decay before that person is gone. So there's only theoretically there'd only be so much of an AI's neural net she, they could delete and whatnot until they're gone. What's over here? Oh, that thing. Uh, yeah, we should move stuff over there. Yeah. Um. 
Okay, there we go. We can get another reactor now and get some vehicles. Oh, did you give me your tank? You yeah, give I gave you all, all my stuff. I'm gonna manage the base. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, Gentlemen, let's go die. But yeah, I mean, I like. I mean, on one hand, I understand it's a good idea to have. Or no, let's take them over here to secure this so we can buy ourselves more time. Oh, I didn't realize you could... I thought it was... Uh, it just eventually appeared. I didn't realize you actually had to get fired. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I had to go over there yeah. and... All right, cool. Oh, yeah. there's a reactor here, too. We can oh, take yeah, that. let's uh, let's get let's you guys over there. there. I forgot about that. I just played this level like two days ago. I should know this crap. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. This one took me a few tries on Legendary. Oh, Man, God, when you dude. zoom in, stuff looks really good in the remaster. Oh my god, doesn't Especially it? Especially the Forerunner. I really it's love just... the Forerunner architecture in this game. It's like right in between what 343 and Bungie did. And yeah. personally, I think, you know, it's actually the best of the series. Like, you want to talk about big, monolithic, futuristic? Oh, yeah. Without it being too, like, gravity defying. and Yeah. So, this was something interesting I learned uh, fairly recently. The whole idea of. Um, of all the, you know, they're the floating towers on Requiem, but we've never seen floating towers in Halo before from the yeah. Forerunner. Apparently, the idea behind that was that the outer, like, core of the planet is large enough that it has its own gravity field, and that those things are stuck between the core of the planet's gravity and the outer shell. Hmm. Which I don't think has ever been... Maybe it's in one of the art books. I don't think so. I, I, I think somebody, like, especially uh, someone like... Uh... Harspus, because I don't think he's ever commented on anything like that. He would have definitely said something about that by now if that was if that was uh, mentioned somewhere. Yeah, that's what I've uh, I've heard. I forget who I was talking to about it, but you know, someone who's never really steered me wrong in the past was talking about it. Huh. All right, so we're at tech level three, huh? That's we are. All right, I'm getting us a few things. <laughs> I'm going to let us get to reactor level four and then start researching stuff. And then I'll destroy a reactor. There we go. Cool beans. Be good. But yeah, I mean, I understand them wanting to bring this story, like, all tied together with five. But it's kind of sad that, you know, this was such a unique yeah. kind of time frame in Halo that we can't ever really revisit. Yeah, that is. Like... And it would have been nice to kind of keep it as its own little separate, you know, mini franchise, I think. Yeah. Where you could explore things about the Human Covenant more again and not always be tied to the current plot advances. Hey, Amen. My God, you flying bastards die. Man, this is the first time I've seen some of this flood stuff in the remastered. You can yeah. even see the little uh, sphincter doors that they had in Halo Three on yeah. where this clear area. Yeah. Oh well, that, that uh, you should get that tank doors. out of there. That thing's if anything yeah. hits that, it's done for. Yeah, I was trying to heal it. It didn't pan out. I'm going to do reserves, and then I'm going to start switching over to other stuff. Cool. Oh, God, it's the floodlings. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game's also interesting because, you know, you talk about a lot of fiction being out. When this, there was really only a few books, and Halo 3 and ODST was on its way. Yeah. You know, I mean, there wasn't as much, you know, there. They really could take the creative license to do whatever they wanted. Why don't you take that tank back here and I'll heal it up? I'm going to see I'll see what I can squeeze out of it quickly. And then uh, this, da this damn flood colony is almost, de is almost dead. There we go. Now let's bring it back. So I can't just keep spawning flood units. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop the heal on that. And as soon as this thing is done... I have to heal, don't worry. Yes, my tanks heal. <laughs> I 
Uh, yes, I would you, also see, love to see. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I was gonna say so. I know you've played the PC version of this, which yeah, yeah. I did briefly, but only with a controller. <laughs> uh, how is it on it? It's not bad. Uh, the controls aren't all that intuitive right off the bat, but as late night gaming pointed out, I mean, it's not exactly easy to. It might not be all that easy considering it's kind of like the reverse of most R- RTSs. It's you know it's going from console to. PC rather than PC to console, but in either way, you can remap it anyway. So uh, yeah, I've once always, you get the hang of it, it's not that it's not bad. Yeah, I've always liked the controls on this. I can't even imagine playing this with mouse and keyboard after all these years. I probably have more time spent in in the in Halo Wars than I do any other Halo game, except <laughs> for probably Custom Edition. But that goes without saying. But that's mostly because I'm testing my own so. All right, why don't you pull these tanks out again? That one's in the red. Yep. I'm doing upgrades for the tanks right now, too. So we'll be able to amp those things up. I forget where the other generator towers are. Uh, there's one one up here. There's another one somewhere around here. And I think the third one's, like, down here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. All right, I'm researching power turret, and then we'll go get these marines over here. Get those resources, take this, and push onward. Sounds good. We need to get that thing soon so we get more time. We're about <laughs> to have uh, Wolverines and power turret tanks. So we should oh, be good. Fall. I keep forgetting to mute you when I do these <laughs> things. I haven't heard that Windows phone chime in a long time. I can't afford to upgrade to anything, so I'm stuck with it. Uh, which one is it? Um, Nokia like 960 Lumia or whatever. I used to have a 920. It was good for the time. Or 920. But... It was probably, it's probably 920. Whatever it is. I can't remember all the numbers. It's 9-something. Yeah. Well, one of the many problems with this. But anyway. I do remember when they used to have the Halo phone apps and the iOS version and the Android version were better than the Windows phone version. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. All right, you get the power turret. You should be able to yep. get those guys pretty good. Yeah, let's go get these uh, guys over here. I'm going to make a uh, gremlin so we can put it at that. Oh, I don't think you actually need to. I think that actually provides one. Uh, it was showing. Eh, whatever. There for me. Well, we'll have it over I mean, there, right? yeah, like you could actually have it as a unit too. All right. Hey there, grizzlies. Or grizzly. <laughs> I always love that. Come on. Yeah, I'm really excited to use it Halo Wars too. It's gonna be I know. I've always liked Halo Wars and I can't wait to see where it goes. Mm-hmm. I wasn't too enamored by the uh public beta, which is really a public alpha. But um I can, I, I kinda like that. I like that it wasn't a uh that it like that it was such an early in such an early state, you know. Like as as less fun as it might be to play that way. Uh, okay, I'm pulling you guys back a bit. Oh, I mean, um, by all means, it's good that we got to see it and provide feedback. But I don't. Yeah. I didn't. Fi- I didn't necessarily find it as fun as Halo Wars One back then. Oh, but I had and a lot of fun with okay. it at PAX tournament. Okay. Yeah. Highline sighted. Marking on your display. <laughs> Did I play against you on Halo Wars 2 there? I don't know, actually. It's possible. Uh, we just got another free gremlin, so I guess yeah, you see, were... I thought, Yeah, I thought so. I, I couldn't remember. Okay, you are coming back. You are about to die. Uh, kill those bodies. I'd honestly love just like a a huge lore book, just about everything that appears in here. Yeah, it's kind of surprising it... Mythos didn't talk about it much. Yeah, well, considering everything that it was and and wasn't, it, you know, it's not like the big book of everything. Unfortunately, I liked it for what it was, but I, I wish it could have been more. Yeah, I looked through it once, kind of. 
But my girlfriend was looking through it recently. Mm. I was trying to explain to her, like, the story. And oh, she God. was, like, totally, like, that's, like, a lot of stuff. I'm like, just read this book. Oh, Let me drop shit. a heel on these guys for you. I was going to say, because I wanted to <laughs> freeze all those fuckers. Well, I got you some um, Wolverines Get back coming here, your way. Okay, just stay there. Hey, you, Grizzly, you can do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. When you get 600, I need to use it on these th shits. Space bats, flood bats. There's a proper name for them, I can't remember. Flood swarm, I guess, is what they call them. <laughs> I wonder what yeah, they I wonder were. They are. Yeah, they look like little bats. It's cool to see all this, especially yeah. now that you can actually, the textures aren't like... Oh god, it's going mess. down to two two frames. Uh, Here, I'm bringing in the uh, Wolverines for you. Cool. Answering to your command. Alright. You two. There's another per power turn thing for you. Nice. Noise. All clear. Evac flight to No. All right. So let's head down here and grab this guy. Did we get these guys or who do we get? No, we, get we get the elephant from this. Because we should get those resources, because that will help a yeah, lot. We can we can train some uh, some units out of there, uh, out of the elephant, and then just talk, you know, use it to. Can we just make that. one. So I, I got you remember. some uh, vultures. Yeah. Being oh made. sweet. Okay. Where is that? Where's the third one? I'm trying to remember now. So I know there's this one here. Uh, oh, there's the black box. We should get that. Yeah. I don't have it. Yeah. I know that's where one of them is. I can't remember where the fourth one is. Hmm. Someone was messaging the other day that we should do the... Um... Oh, can you lo e either transfer or lock down the elephant? Oh, here. I got it. I'll handle this. Um, someone was telling me the other day, like, you gotta put the Wolverine in CE. It'll be so cool. <laughs> like, launch a bunch of missiles at people. And I'm like, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Now if you ever guys wanted, there's the black box. I don't remember this mission being so easy last time I played it. Nor do I. And I played it last, I think, on easy. <laughs> but hey, I'm not going to complain. Alright, giving you the elephant. Let's get those resources. It will be good. But I am probably keeping these vultures for myself. By all means. Uh, that's something that would be cool to see in a ma in a mainline Halo game. It'd be entire like n maybe not in multiplayer because that would just be too a little unrealistic. But just seeing one in a game a vulture in one of the games would be kind of cool. I can see it working as like a kill streak thing. Yeah. But I can't really see it as a pilotable vehicle. No, God, no. That, Unless you, they the, want, like, I think the thing, one style. Yeah. Local units. Oh, God. I may need your help, because I don't think I can shoot this one. Don't know. Alright, coming over to get it. You gotta get your guys out of there. Yeah, they can't. they can't reach it. Um, move your stuff over here so we can take Oops. out, or over here so we can take out some of those swarms. Time. Yes, there we go. Okay. Okay. Where's this thing you need me to hit again? This thing right over here, right? Uh, right here. Yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> but I'd like to know... Is... What the real function of the shield world is. Maybe we'll get more stuff related to the first Halo Wars coming up soon. I mean, the function of the shield world, the shield worlds in general, were military outposts, basically. That's why the well, thing's right, full but of... I mean, like, what was the specific point of this one? 
I think you're just a house ships. Kind of lame. I don't know. I mean, that's what I guess that's why they're supposed to be like 600 shield worlds or 900 if that cut let if that cut uh, audio from Halo Five is to be believed. I have not heard that audio. Um, it's basically it identified Bastion as Shield World nine eight three, I think. It was you know a really high number, even though. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Cutscene. But no, it was a, uh, which is a high number because in Halo Broken Circle it was stated that. Uh, Shield World six seven three, uh, aka the Refuge, as it was called in there, was. Uh, what do you call it? Um, it was supposed to be the last shield world ever constructed. Okay. Alright. Most of these units are, have been transferred to you. Or no. Well, a good deal have been trans... Enough have been... Some have been transferred to you. Shut up, me. I'm taking this stuff out over here. Ah. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I do have stuff. Can you either transfer these guys to me, or do you want to... No, you take them all. Cool. Yeah, let's get them going back. I'm going to have to heal up my uh, vultures soon, but... Da, 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 da. Where do these flood tanks always come from? Oh, uh, the, um... This is... The uh, Thrashers or whatever they're called. Yeah, Thrashers. That's what I meant. For some, re I just, for some reason I said tank. That's the other interesting thing. Well, yeah, there are no pure forms in this game. Yeah, from what I've, I think it was, somebody is always saying that they're meant to be uh, thorn beasts. I did hear that somewhere. It might have been in some of the uh, content that came with the game. Possibly. Like in the what did they have? I have the strategy guide. For the first game, just because it has like so much like other stuff oh in it. Oh my god, yeah, the pre the prima guides from back from those days are just fantastic. Yeah, and it even has like concept art and stuff because there's never oh a concept god, yeah. art thing. For it. Yeah, which is now all included with the definitive edition for anyone interested. I did see they have it. Does it have all the concept art and everything too? It's like uh, an it's online got a PDF, it, right? It's got or a good it, like... deal of it. Uh, it's it's like there's a gallery feature in there. I don't remember. If, I don't think was included with the original Halo Wars. It's also got the actual P, like PDF or a digital version of the Prima Strategy Guide. So, if nothing else, you got it all right there. It's pretty cool. One more cryobomb. I've been meaning to go around and archive a bunch of stuff because sometimes I look for old things and I have to really dig to find them. Oh I my god! For, <laughs> yeah. I was like talking with somebody yesterday who does not like sprint in Halo, and I was talking about it. We were playing Halo 2, I'm like, oh man, I wish I could be sprinting right now, and he's like, that's a blasphemy. I'm like, no, no, not like to press a button and sprint. And he's like, what other kind of sprint is there? And I'm like, like the one that Bungie said was going to be in this game, where like, well, for people who had never heard this and probably think I'm crazy, yeah. for Halo 2, there was supposed to be, you know, now what we would call Spartan abilities, and the only one that made it into the game was, uh, you know, hijacking vehicles, but... yeah. You were supposed to be able to, like, push your stick forward, and if you, like, didn't shoot your gun and you ran in a straight line long enough, you'd break into a sprint, so you could, like, kind of run around areas like assault in the control room and get to your weapons faster after a battle was ended. That obviously never made it in. But then there was also going to be peeking around corners, which would have been cool. <laughs> which would have made those Halo 2 sniper jackets a lot more tolerable. Yeah. It would be interesting to see what Halo... Uh... What is it? Halo 2 would have been like if some of that shit had been implemented. And hey, there we go. Heroic for yeah. once. <laughs> a little more of a challenge. Do you oh, want to wow. do another Perfect one? Perfect No, I, I do one per guest. Ah, uh, alright. <laughs> Sorry. Eh, quite alright. We yeah. got the gold on here, though, so that's Yeah, good. so that, definitely. And I got Pretty an good. achievement. Congratulations. Speaking of which, I don't know if you've seen, like, some of those achievements are popping up diamonds with now, or with diamonds now, if they're very rare. So. Yeah, the sound weirds me out. I'm yeah, so it's like, I was like, bloop, bloop. yeah, it's really weird. Like, first time I saw it, like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. 
That's kind of cool. Anyway, that was Shield World with Masters, which was fun. So, yeah, anytime. I am drawing blanks today. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I have not slept this week, and it is starting to show. Ugh. That's but anyway, eh, sleep is for the week. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Uh, I had fun playing. Shield World's definitely one. It's an interesting level. It's got a. I, those pylons specifically are fairly interesting. I'd like. It's got a, like. Uh, they remind me a bit of the. Uh, what do you call it? Those things from uh, us. From. Um, not Assault on the Control Halo? Room. The big things are the. Bo the yeah, the, the pulse generators. The phase pulse generators from the original Halo. Like, like the role they play kind of reminds you of that, where you're kind of trying to find them and disabling them. Mm, that is kind of similar. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about the things on uh, Halo, the mission Halo. Not, I actually not, found out what those not, were recently. Not the, no, not the I mission forget. Halo, but it, it's... Uh, whatever the level is, that is, it's a retread of Assault on the Control Room, but it's the Two other Betrayals. One. Is that Two Betrayal? Oh, yeah, that yeah. is Two Betrayals. For some reason, I was thinking Two Betrayal, I thought, I hear Two... I was thinking of the level keys in my head and thinking that's two betrayals. I don't know why. But yeah, so yeah, two betrayals, kind of that same role where you're hunting them down, though it's a little more optional in this particular version. Yeah, yeah. well, otherwise, I think on higher difficulties you have to do it. Otherwise, you're... Oh, yeah, otherwise you're not going to... close to the wire oh, yeah. in terms yeah. of time. Especially you know, when you're like me and want to research everything. Yeah. <laughs> but no, what were you saying about the pylons on Halo? Oh, I recently found out what those are supposed to be, and now I forget what they are. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> but I found somewhere where they I found something somewhere that um, mentioned exactly what they were. I don't think it was in the Halo 1 game files, but I think it might have been like some piece of concept art somewhere I found, something, something obscure. I really need to document my stuff better. <laughs> yeah, a lot of us do. Unless you're Scale Master, apparently. So apparently he's got, like, um, that one Halo Mega document. But anyway, thanks for joining me, man. No thank problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. And thank you out there for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you haven't heard of it, check out Halo, the SPV3 mod for Halo CE on PC. I'll leave a link down below to my playthroughs of it and the SPV3 uh, subreddit. There you can get more details because it's a lot of fun, and as you heard, as you've heard a couple times, I believe throughout here, uh, they are working on their next section. It might take a while to come out. It's a lot of work that they're doing, you know, in well, their spare time. Hopefully later this year. Yeah, I'm just, I just want to, I just want to temper people's expectations. You know, if it, it's like <laughs> no offense to your team, obviously, but it it is a shit ton of work that you guys are doing in what amounts to your spare time and for free. So, you know, yeah. any sort of delays are more than understandable. Yeah, anyway. I, we're making good progress with it, though. I feel good about it. That is very good to hear. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also, consider checking out Gamefly with over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles, and even some older consoles. Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com/HaloCanon to start your 30-day free trial.